Hi, I'm Miss Darcy and I'm a children's librarian. Today we're reading I Dare You Not to Yawn by Helene Boudreau. Yawns are sneaky. They can creep up on you when you least expect it. There you are, minding your own business, building the tallest block tower in the history of the universe, or dressing up the cat, when suddenly your arms stretch up, your eyes squish tight, your mouth opens wide, your tongue curls back, and a yawn pops out. Next thing you know, you're being sent upstairs to get your pajamas on. Pajamas lead to bedtime stories. Bedtime stories lead to sleepy time songs. And sleepy time songs lead to goodnight hugs and kisses. Before you know it, you're tucked into bed, snug as a bug, and wondering, how did I get here? So, if you're not ready to go to bed, follow these tips and do not yawn. If someone else yawns, like your baby brother or your big sister or the dog, ah, look away! Yawns are like colds. They spread. Stay away from huggable stuffed animals, soft cozy pajamas, and your favorite blankie because mm, those can make you feel snuggly. Avoid bedtime stories about sleepy baby animals like tiger cubs arching their backs in one last stretch, their eyes squished tight and their tongues curl back. Or you might start to feel stretchy too. Don't sing sleepy time songs about twinkling stars or buying sheep, especially the counting kind. One sheep, two sheep. Bah, bah, bah. And whatever you do, don't think of droopy-eyed baby orangutans holding their arms out for a hug from their mamas, their little mouths forming perfect O's. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. If you try all these things, but a yawn still creeps up and grabs a hold of you, quick, cover your mouth to keep it from escaping. Because if your arms stretch up, your eyes squish tight, your mouth opens wide, your tongue curls back, and a yawn pops out. Then off to bed you'll go. See, I told you, yawns are sneaky. The end.